Hello and welcome to CAD Graph Tutorials. Today I'll be showing you how to create a staircase using Autodesk Revit Architecture 2012. Alright, to start off, obviously open the new document or project in which you'd like to create a staircase in. Here I've got a building of an eco center. Alright, as you can see, this building will need some staircases in it so people can get from A to B or floor 1 to floor 2. The option you can do is make an elevator, which you can do that, or we can just make a staircase. As you can see here in the window here, I've cut off a bit of the floor in which I want the staircase to go into. This then just allows us the roofing so you don't hit your head when you go up the staircase. Right, so what I'm going to head into ground floor, and here is the area or section I'd like to create my staircase, as you can see by level 1 if I go over here there's the cutouts. Uh, to create a staircase you head up into this toolbar here under home and you just click stairs. As you can see drawing tools appear plus then in properties you've got the staircase in the properties. You can obviously go into constraints and then go into base level and this is the level you want your stairs to start off at. We want ground floor and the base offset obviously that's the offset from the ground so you need to put it a meter from the ground which isn't obviously helpful because then people are going to climb up a meter up the stairs before they get onto it. Top level is obviously you want to obviously be level one you don't want to go through two levels and then you've got another top offset which still you don't really want. Here you can head down to dimensions so that's here you got your width that's the width obviously of what your staircase is. A meter it's default and a meter is pretty good but you can also do, you can also head into edit type and add some more of the features if you really want to. Just like the tread thickness, the maximum riser height, which is set at originally 190 millimeters, but it's alright. So I'm just getting okay there. So click on the line drawing tool, or you can make an arc staircase if you really want, but in this case I'm just gonna do a straight straight um can't even say straight staircase. And what we do, just click where you want your staircase to start. And then as you can see, you start dragging out. You don't have to bring it all the way. You can do halfway, but it won't only go 17, 50 meters outwards and only halfway up to level one, which you really don't want. So drag it out all the way and select. We can do then, just hit the green button to finish the staircase. As you can see, it doesn't really look good because it's not in line with the wall or anything. So you can just select it, zoom in, and then just move your staircase about. So I'm just going to move my staircase right next to the wall, just so it looks good. Put it back a bit so they do have room. There we go. And as you can see, you got the up button and an arrow heading straight. That means this is the bottom and it's heading upwards from here. So I'll view that just in level 1, see if it comes out good in level 1. As you can see, it's actually in line with the floor cutout I did previously. And here you can see now it says down or DN, which means down, and the arrow is pointing that way downwards, meaning the staircase goes down from where it is at the moment. I'll just take a look into 3D view for you guys. You can see now that it comes up like this. We can see the staircase, and I'll just do a view for you just so you can see the staircase yourself. And that is what the staircase will look like. You don't really have to have these railings on this side, like I'll just skewer this around for you. And obviously, because it's right next to a wall, you really don't need these. You just select them and delete them. And then there you go. You know, you only got railings on one side, and that's how you make a prop stairs. Alright, thank you for listening. If you did enjoy, please subscribe, give me a thumbs up. Thank you, guys.